Hello friends, welcome back. So it's Sunday the 29th of August. We're in a cornfield. Which, can you guess where I am? I'm back in my old stomping ground. I'm on my way to get to be a doors. I've been loving doing this old route. I mean, look at that. Look at the corn. That's corn. Fucking giant. I mean, like. The thing is, right, so the farmer here she does nothing with this. Me and mum were always like, you should totally turn it into like a corn maze. People would pay. There you go, look. One of them. Where is he? Look, he's opened. Some of the corn's opening. I don't think he harvests it. He plants it because if farmers don't use their fields here in England, sometimes the government will like compulsory purchase it because it's not being used. So as long as there's crops or livestock in a field, they can't do that. I mean, they can, but they have less reason to be able to do so. So, for the past few years, he's actually planted corn now. But, yeah, I mean, like, how much fun would it be? Come Halloween, I'm a fucking corn maze. And the thing is, this is just one field of his. So there's the other field that I quite often walk through to get to Tundra, which also has corn. So that's like, you've got multiple fields, you could do a corn maze, and you don't. But anyway, we're not talking about that. So, off to get T and D. Walking it because mum is away, enjoying a little bit of a holiday with dad. As it was dad's birthday yesterday. So it's just been me and the bro at home. Um, so yesterday we had Hunter and Flush. Uh, today, collecting Chunky Monk and Doors to take them home. They are staying until Friday. Um, I have a walk with Hunter at half two. Uh, and then after him, I got a whole laughs because I'm walking Jake and Safi. So, it's a long ash day. We were going to have Flash as well, but he's not been well a few times. So they're going to keep him home. Um, and I've just suggested some chicken and rice. Helps out his stomach and things like that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's just a busy freaking day. It's not going to be a long day. I'm not sure I'm ready for it. But anyway, I'm almost there, so I'll catch up with you guys shortly. At least once I've got TND. So we are two walks done. On my way to my third, I should be there for about four. I mean, what is the time? What the fuck? What is the time? Oh, it's 3.15. Yeah, give or take. I should be there for about four. Maybe slightly after. Um, so yeah, we're on our way to the schnauzers. We've done Ollie, we've done Hunter. Um, I've let Tubbs out. Um, I have to say, surprisingly, for the miles I've done, my feet are doing okay. So it's an hour walk to Wally, and then obviously the hour walk and an hour walk back. 20 minutes to Hunter, hour walk, 20 minutes back, and then hour. And 30, 40 minutes to Jake and oh, to the Schnauzers. Um, Thirty-minute walk, and then 
30 40 minutes back um hopefully i should be done after that but um depends if mum's back depends if she's in a mood with me or not maybe she's stopped replying to my texts because i've taken on a dog in a different town so also she might be in a mood with me i might have to take toby and dora back by foot who knows um we'll see when it gets to it but for the time being I'm gonna assume she's in a mood with me um oh well shit happens um other than that all seems to be going surprisingly well I Other than the fact that she keeps flying at me. Let me just keep plodding on. Um, and also, if my mum's in the mood with me, then I'm gonna get tubs and drawers back and then go feed the cats. So, I mean, I could still have a very long day ahead of me, but I might not. It all depends on what mood mum's in. When she gets back, which I'm gonna have no clue until she gets back. But, oh well. Um, and other than that, it's just hoping that we have enough fuel. Because for some reason, my town is just gonna be a bit loopy on buying fuel. So the media decided to make it sound like we weren't getting any and now everyone's bought it all there is none left so hopefully we're going to be able to get us around for the rest of the week otherwise slightly screwed um because we only put shell v power fucking e5 petrol in it now why she needs it i don't fucking know but eu regulations went on to e10 petrol and i bet america doesn't have this issue but yeah so we went on to e10 petrol which is more methane than some methane or there's more one thing in it than another thing the car doesn't like the more one thing than the other thing, so staying on the E5 has less of the thing in it. I don't know. All I know is that she likes the shell, V Power, E5 fuel. But everyone's buying out every single petrol station worth of fuel. I mean, people have literally like filled up water bottles, people have been taking like jerry cans. I mean, my town is full of idiots. Literally, we've been getting like almost daily deliveries of fuel, and people are still like, we're going to run now. So, I mean, if you could see the freaking queues, just it's ridiculous. And yet, people are actually still queuing and panicking. And you just think, there are some people out there who are going to actually need that fuel and they're just having it for the sake of it. I just, just can't with people. So I, I can imagine some walks could possibly be a lot more on foot. Um, which the weather keeps up the way it is. Definitely not going to be able to keep wearing the hoodie been sweating all day long in this damn thing and I thought about taking off and then I thought airing my armpits after the walks I've done not a good idea I mean, I'm pretty sure I saw that anyway but I just thought mm, that's a bit cruel it's a bit cruel to do but other than that 
all has been relatively easy. Um, so yeah, we got three new dogs starting this week. So we've got the one in order shop, Buddy, who is very much going to start off and he's probably just going to be like 15 minutes. He's not going to be out still for an hour. Um, we've got Willow, the tiny little puppy. He'll be getting puppy visits on a Tuesday and a Thursday. I mean, she's getting her final set of jabs this Thursday. I mean, that's how small of a puppy she is. So we're doing puppy visits this Tuesday, as well as a solo walk starting Tuesday afternoon. Um, bit of a lead reactive dog. And then you've got in touch with me to help. Yay! So, yeah, three new dogs starting this week. I had two new dogs start last week. It's all a bit kind of chaotic. I mean, I'm not sure about this one in order shot. It's a big boy. I mean, it's just getting an order shot every day. It's just... figuring out if it's worth it or not but we'll see I mean they'll already be paying more so we'll see I guess it depends on how long it takes me to get him through his media activity and get him to a point where group walks and things like that should be fine and recall kind of clicks but they're on their fifth trainer so I'm not holding my breath on anything otherwise I'm gonna carry on with my day I'll catch you guys if you want some home or maybe when I'm with the cat 